This is the first of a series of videos on angles. You should know terms such as supplementary, complementary, vertically opposite, and you should know about angles in a triangle. If two angles add together to make 90 degrees, we say they are complementary. 30 degrees is a complement of 60 degrees. Equally, 60 degrees is a complement of 30 degrees. They come as a pair. So as long as the angles add up to make 90 degrees, 40 and 50 here make 90, they are complements. Of course at 45 degrees, it's its own complement. So the complement of 45 degrees is 45 degrees. So that's complementary angles. Supplementary angles add up to make 180 degrees. That's a straight line. So a complete turn around the point is 360 degrees. A straight line is half a turn, 180 degrees. Two angles that add together to make 180 degrees are supplementary. 55 is a supplement of 125 degrees. And 125 degrees is a supplement of 55 degrees. So... Two angles, they add together to make 180, they are supplements of each other. These are supplementary angles. And the next term is vertically opposite angles. Two lines crossing at a point. This point with the cross here is a vertex. So a vertex is a point, so two lines are crossing at a point. On opposite sides of that vertex, the angles are equal. So the blue 50 degrees is opposite the blue 50 degrees. They are vertically opposite. They are equal. Now, this 50 degrees has its supplement 130, and then 130 has its supplement of this 50, because they make up straight lines in each case, horizontal line here and a sloping line in the second case. So this 50 and this 50 are each supplements of that 130 degrees. So that makes them equal. So the opposite sides of the vertex are equal. This blank one here is 130 as well, because it's vertically opposite to this 130. So the 130 is another pair. So as long as they're on opposite sides of a vertex, they're equal. Even when you go right round into the obtuse angles, the opposite sides of the vertex, the angles are equal. And I'm missing 56 in here, for example. So that's vertically opposite angles. And triangles, the angles marked in the triangle here, three of them, there's a blue angle, a red angle, and a green angle. If I rotate the triangle around the midpoint of a side, I can bring the blue angle up to join the red angle up the top here. So that's the blue and the red together. If I rotate again around the right hand side, I can bring the green angle up to the top to join the other two. Now the red, the blue and the green angle have come together to make a straight line of 180. So the original triangle had a blue, red and green angle. And up here's a blue, red and green angle making 180. So in the triangle, the three angles made 180 degrees. They made up a straight line. So that's what's summarised here in this page. Supplementary angles add up to 180, that's 50. That must be 130 to make up straight line to 180. That's supplements. Complementary angles make up 90 degrees, that's 50. Missing angle must be 40 to make up the 90 degree angle. So 40 and 50 are complements of each other. Opposite sides of the vertex, this 50 on the opposite side should be another 50. They are vertically opposite. Now you can make the straight lines up to 180 and you would get these 230s. They're also vertically opposite. In the triangles, the angles add up to 180. That's 60 and 50. The missing angle, 70, makes the triangle up to 180 degrees. This has three different sizes of angle. It has three different sizes of side. So no equal angles, no equal sides. The 70 degrees is the biggest angle, 
Opposite to it is the biggest side. 50 degrees is the smallest angle. Opposite to it is the smallest side. If you have two equal sides, you will have two equal angles. If you get two equal sides like that, there's a line of symmetry down through the shape. So that this right hand side and left hand side reflect onto each other. Well that 50 degrees must reflect onto the left here. So there must be a 50 degrees here. And then the triangle can, triangle can be made up to 180. But it's got two equal sides and opposite to the equal sides are the equal angles. So that's how source is two equal sides, two equal angles. Equilateral, three equal sides, three equal angles. Each angle 60 degrees. So that's equilateral, three equal sides, three equal angles. Isosceles, two equal sides, two equal angles. This is called the scalene. It'll be in the notes which you get if you click the link in the description. So no equal sides, no equal angles. Now, angles are in parallel lines. Corresponding angles are in the F shape. So in red here you see an F shape. These red angles are corresponding. Because the lines are parallel, these red angles, the corresponding angles, are equal. If these lines were not parallel, these angles would not be equal. There are four possible F shapes you can draw. I've drawn two of them, just to illustrate. So, you've got an F shape here. It's an upside down and back to front F shape here. Another two are possible. If angles in a Z shape, they're alternate. So these two angles marked in red are alternate angles. If the lines are parallel, the alternate angles are equal. If the lines weren't parallel, these angles wouldn't be equal. So there are two possible Z shapes, this one. And there's the other one, slightly uh, backward looking. So in a Z shape, with parallel lines, You've got alternate angles equal. You've got, for parallel lines, corresponding angles equal in these F shapes. So that's the F and the Z shapes. So you have to remember corresponding and alternate, and it requires parallel lines for them to be equal. So here's a pair of parallel lines. These two angles, 110 degrees at vertex B and D, these are corresponding because there is an F shape there. So there is an F shape. It comes uh, along the top here, down and across there to the left. So that F's got kind of pointing to the left. It's uh, flipped sort of backwards from a usual F in the alphabet. There's 110 degrees here fitting. That's 110 degrees fitting onto the angle at D. If I slide it up it fits onto the angle at B perfectly. If the lines were not parallel, that would not fit on. So by fitting it here, we've got that these angles are equal. Now, there's an F shape in red. There's a second F shape in red. There's another F shape, and excuse me, there's a Z shape. So these ones marked 110 are equal, and there's another Z shape. So these ones marked 70 are equal. So around parallel lines, there's actually four F shapes possible and two Z shapes. So to put the go through them, here's a Z shape, here's another Z shape, there's an F shape, an F shape, an F shape, and an F shape. So that was two Z shapes and four F shapes. There's all the angles put in. So you've got straight lines making 180, you've got vertically opposites, you've got allied angles, this 110 and this 70 here, and the inside bit of an F shape, they're making 180. 
So you've got straight lines, supplements, you've got vertically opposites, you've got alternates, and you've got correspondings. There's lots of ways to get the same answer. It's important to realise that these blue angles have nothing to do whatsoever with the red angles on the other side. They were all around this diagonal line here coming down. This is a completely different line here on the left. So these are completely different angles. They've got no connection to the red angles we just saw on the right hand side. So here's an F shape. And if I put in all the angles around these points, you can get F shape, F shape, F shape, F shape. Z shapes, Z shapes. So two Z shapes and the four F shapes. And you can work out all the angles around the point using straight lines, vertical opposite, corresponding alternate, all possibilities, but they've nothing to do with the red angles over there. They're completely separate. If I change that point around, the angles will change, as you'll see, when you're dealing with them, this will set in red, 80 and 100 involved, over here at 72 and 108, so that's nothing, no connection between the blue ones and the red ones. This is the inside bit of the F shape making 180, they're called the allied angles. If I extend that top line with the dots there, that's alternate angles in the marked A degrees. And A and B here make a straight line of 180. So that A and B make 180 up here at the top, making a straight line. Therefore, that A and B on the inside of the F shape make 180. They're allied angles. So on the left here, using the 115, you can fill in all the angles. It'll be completely separate from the 80 on the right. That's in an F shape with the original 115 coming down and the F's pointing off to the left. So it's upside down and backwards. That's in a Z shape with the original 115. So that's the alternate angles. That's making the 115 up to a straight line. That's a supplement. That's corresponding to that 65. And that's alternate to that 65, but you've got vertically opposites, you've got straight lines making 180, you've got inside bits of F shapes, the allied angles, so there's different ways to work out these angles. Over here, F shape, that's 80, that's a corresponding angle, it's an upside down backwards F shape, that's vertically opposite of the original 80, but it's also in a Z shape with this red 80, that's making that 80, the original 80, up to 180 for a straight line. Or it's making this red 80 up to a straight line. That 100 is in an F shape with that 100. Or it's making this 80 up to 180, or the inside of the F shape. This 80 here makes 180 with this 100. And 100 here is a Z shape. There's vertically opposite, there's straight lines making 180, there's the inside bit of an F shape making 180. Lots of ways to make these red angles. The blue angles and the red angles are completely separate, as if they were two separate diagrams. So the blue angles have nothing to do with the red angles. If you look down the bottom here, parallel lines, Z shape. Alternate angles, straight line, 180, straight line here, 180, Z shape with that 40, straight line up the top to make 180, that makes that 90, equally in the triangle, make 180 in the triangle. So again, different ways to get these answers. You could get that 50 and 130 in the inside bit of an F shape, their allied angles are the 40 and 140, they're making 180 inside bit of an F shape. And this 
want to relate everything back to the original 50 degrees using these words you should know corresponding alternate vertical opposite and supplementary so for example A is 50 B will be 50 and C will be 50 for different reasons from this original 50 A is the corresponding angle B is the alternate angle and C is vertically opposite to the original 50 D is the supplement so it's making it up to 180 D is 130 so A, B and C are 50 D is 130 here for E, F, G, H E, F and G are all 110 E is corresponding to original 110 F is alternate to original 110 and G is vertically opposite to original 110 so E, F and G 110 H is 70, the supplement so for H it's supplementary angles here for I, J, K and L I, J and K are all 55 I is corresponding J is alternate, K is vertically opposite, L is the supplement, it's going to be 125 degrees to make the straight line 180. So L, 125 for the supplementary angles, the other are all 55 for the different reasons. M, N, O and P, well M and N and O are all 105 degrees. M's corresponding, it's an F shape. N's alternate, it's in a Z shape. O is vertically opposite. And P is 75 because it's a supplement. 105 and 75 make the straight line up to 180. That's just a reminder of these terms you should know. Clicking the link in the description, you'll get a worksheet and it'll be figuring out all the missing angles. There won't be any like this, but these sometimes appear in textbook exercises. Finding A, we'll get parallel lines, but there's no Z shapes or F shapes at the moment. If I put another parallel line in, then I've got Z shapes. That is a 35, and a Z shape here with this 35, and the same with the 20 Z shapes around it. So the alternate angles here with parallel lines a is the 35 plus the 20. So A was 55, but it came from putting an extra parallel line to figure it out. Again, it won't be on the worksheet. Worksheet will consist of questions reminding you of supplements, of vertical opposite, angles in a triangle, and isosceles triangles in particular. I'll have the answers with them and I'll have cases of parallel lines where you fill in uh, in some cases fill in the angles and get the missing angles I think they've maybe made them yeah, figure out the missing angles there's more than one way to get these uh, the sheet will have the answers with it so this is the sheet and then the answers so you're working out the missing letter. And if you click the link in the description, you also get access to the notes that are up there as a PDF. So just cover this first page. And extra to it, there's some notes on regular polygons, exterior angles, and how to work the angles out for regular polygons. That's polygons with equal sides so there's examples on that but no, nothing on the worksheets the next video will be on quadrilaterals and their properties particularly angle properties i hope you find this video useful thank you